relation to that conversation. Um, number one is about councils and their engagement. Uh, with the population. Sorry, I'm to one question. Right, well, it'll be about <laughs> councils and their engagement with the population. But I think it's, I would like to ask all of the candidates whether they make a commitment, should they be elected, to being better at explaining to the populace and their electorate what they can and can't do. Because I think this is one of the big problems that causes a lot of disengagement. There are a lot of false claims made. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm aware that this will be about the eighth pronouncement in terms of a date of completion for regions that's been missed. Okay. So, so the Sorry. question is, is very simple, really. It's how do the parties think about engagement uh, with the voter, with the resident, with the public, and can they do it better? Yes. Uh, obviously, from what we've seen in Swindon, it, it can be done better. But obviously, from a personal point of view, you know, it would be difficult for anybody to make a, a definite promise to say, well, I can allow this to go ahead or I can stop this development. And so obviously the key thing is, I mean, in, in theory, there's got to be local consultation. Well, at the moment, the so-called local consultation is just very, very minimal. So we really need to extend this local consultation to, to any development whether it's a college or whether, whether it's a crop school or wherever, you know, does really have a majority, majority of the residents, if, if it, not, not supporting it, he's not opposing it. And, you know, if all the like you know, crop, where all, you know, 95% of the local residents are completely against that development, yet the whole thing's steamed all the way through, even though there are very, very good arguments against it. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Um, I am aware I'm the only person that hasn't declared my trade union credentials, and I have been asked, so I thought I'd better, I'd better get that. Um, I've never been a member of a trade union, ever. Um, I'm not saying I, I definitely wouldn't, but I haven't. Um, I was president of my student union, university, which isn't exactly the same thing, but it's kind of along, along similar kind of collective uh, lines. When it comes to consultation, um, there's two types of consultation, really. There's a consultation where the council makes transparent information available to interested people who will seek out information and, and want actually the, the real facts there, um, the honest facts there, what can be done, what can't be done, and how the community can get involved. That kind of consultation is of interest to 1% of people, 2% of people. For most people, that is a huge, massive, massive turn-off, and people just don't engage. It's important that's still there, but... For most people, that's not enough. Uh, seeking out a website, researching an issue that you don't know exists, is not what most people do. So what we do as the focus team is we knock on people's doors. People aren't going to come to us to try and find out what the issues are or to try and find out our views on them. People aren't going to email us about an issue they're not sure is actually happening. We go, we knock on people's doors, we conduct surveys, we provide free post addresses to, to give people the opportunity. But, but more than anything else, really, we knock on someone's door and say, this is an issue, how do you feel about that issue? And, and for most people, that's the only time they're going to input into that kind of thing. So really it's about knocking on someone's door and making them aware there's a problem and really getting their views, rather than just providing a kind of a, a paper-based exercise, which is what councils tend to do. Thank you, Dave. I was once a member of Trade Union and left. <laughs> My office was in a stable block in Shropshire and they called me out on strike without consulting me. Well, that was rather odd and unusual, but then I'm slightly weird. Um, Andy, would you like to know that? Are we all, I think we're all answering this one, because I think it's a question to everyone. Is it totally? So well, I mean, uh, uh, if... Uh, we we have, I'll be first the chair. Well, 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 we, we've been very specific on which questions have been asked by everybody. Okay, so, yeah. And we are going to be running out of time because I've got two more questions. So. I'll answer this one. Then. Your question, if I, if I get you right, because if you mind repeating it, was about. It's about, yeah, it was about. Um, oh, God. I think <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it was about consultation yes, and, about and how the councils can consult. Do, do you think it could be done better? Yes. There was a, there was a wider point, but I'll catch you over tea. Okay. I mean, <laughs> the, 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 issue, the issue about consultation is really that for, for a councillor, um, you need to remember that you're representing every single person in the ward and not just the people that support your political party. And I think one of the problems that sometimes comes up is that, um, and possibly all parties do it, but some parties are worse than others, 
is that they try and reflect back to people what they think they want to hear. You know, so um, a lot, a lot of things because there's a lot, there are a lot of issues, and the car parking, residence parking one here is a very good one. Where there are, oh, we've been knocking on all the doors around here locally about the experiment which has been done with car parking, and it's roughly 50-50. In the 50% of the people think it's an improvement, 50% of the people think it's worse. Now, the temptation, if you are an unscrupulous local politician out for votes, was that you say to the people who think it's good, yes, I agree with it, and you say to the people who think it's bad, so no, I disagree with it. You know? And I think one of the other things which, which there is a, sometimes a problem with is that people, as a local politician, try and take the claim as a success for everything that's happened in their community, whether or not they personally have been responsible for it. Now, I think what happens, actually, is that politicians are just the tip of the iceberg. And that actually we live in a community and a society where people, lots of people, do fantastic things. And it shouldn't be the job of politicians to claim everything that happens in their community <coughs> is a success um, in the leaflets that they put out every few months, as, whether they've had anything to do with it or not, or whether they've only had a peripheral dealing with it, or whether it actually was a cross-party thing and they've made a party political gain out of it. So one of the things I think is incredibly important in terms of restoring integrity in politics is that politicians tell the absolute truth of what the limits of what they can do are, that we don't promise anything that we can't achieve, that we don't take credit for things that we haven't done, but when we have done something, we're absolutely honest with people about what we've done and what the, the pros and cons are. In that there, is, there are a lot of issues where there is actually no win-win solution. There is no win-win solution to parking. And we need to be honest with people that we can't do miracles. So I think what we can say, I mean, one, of the, one of the things which Labour has got to this in as one of our most important strap lines is that we won't promise to do anything that we can't do. And therefore, the, the up downside, or the other side of that, is that if we promise to do something and we don't do it, then you hold us to account. And what I do think in terms of consultation is that if we promise things, if you can show us a Labour leaflet that says that promises that we will do something and we haven't done it, then come and see us and we will do it. You know, that, so that is a pledge. Thank you. Yes.